day 40. This is a train table that my husband has built in our bonus room. Most of our married life, he's been talking about having a train table, but he's never actually built one. So here it sits. He's got years and years of schematics and diagrams, and he gets a magazine called Model Railroad. He and his dad collected model trains when he was growing up, and so he has the trains already. He just needs the layout. During this time of pandemic, we're recovering old hoped-for plans, and we've got a lot of plans on hold that we're waiting to act on when this is all over. It's a good time to think about what brings us joy so that when this lockdown lifts, that's where we'll spend our time. It's easy to get caught up in the busyness of the moment and to not leave time for those things that really bring us joy. Psalm 40. I waited patiently upon the Lord. He stooped to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the desolate pit, out of the mire and clay. He set my feet upon a high cliff and made my footing sure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many shall see and stand in awe and put their trust in the Lord. Happy are they who trust in the Lord. They do not resort to evil spirits or turn to false gods. Great things are they that you have done, O Lord my God. How great your wonders and your plans for us. There is none who can be compared with you. Oh, that I can make them known and tell them, but they are more than I can count. In sacrifice and offering, you take no pleasure. You have given me ears to hear you. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. And so I said, Behold, I come. In the roll of the book it is written concerning me, I love to do your will, O my God. Your law is deep in my heart. I proclaimed righteousness in the great congregation. Behold, I did not restrain my lips. And that, O Lord, you know. Your righteousness have I not hidden in my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your deliverance. I have not concealed your love and faithfulness from the great congregation. You are the Lord. Do not withhold your compassion from me. Let your love and your faithfulness keep me safe forever. For innumerable troubles have crowded upon me. My sins have overtaken me, and I cannot see. They are more in number than the hairs of my head and my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and altogether dismayed who seek after my life to destroy it. Let them draw back and be disgraced who take pleasure in my misfortune. Let those who say, Aha, and gloat over me be confounded because they are ashamed. Let all who seek you rejoice in you and be glad let those who love your salvation continually say, Great is the Lord. Though I am poor and afflicted, the Lord will have regard for me. You are my helper and my deliverer. Do not tarry, O my God. Peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and the love of God and His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, creator, redeemer, and sustainer of us all, be among you and those you love this day and always. Amen.